Hi guys, I just want to show you how I have my Helix 7 set up for ice fishing. So, I have this mounted on a Yeti pail. Um, and that is going to a Yak Attack bracket that I just have screwed on there. Only a couple screws needed. Um, I could have put a whole bunch, but I didn't really want to drill into the lid too much. On the side, I have a rod holder mount, and that's no drilling required. It clips into these pail holes, kind of nice, and that holds pliers, knives, whatever you need. Um, I have my pliers on a never lost gear tether, and uh, those rods are the new uh, ugly sticks. I got those from Fish USA recently. Um, on the back, I have a Yak Attack cup, and I can use it for my drinks, or when I'm moving, walking with the pail, I use it for my sounder, or my transducer, sorry, as you can see. So go and hold a whole jigging. I will throw that in there. And I actually gotta cut this video short because I have a flag. Pickerel out of this hole today, so we'll see. Now, before I just start pulling on this, I'm just gonna give it a couple taps. If there's anything there, they'll run with it generally. And it doesn't look promising, so we'll go back to the other video. So, I actually did have a fish. I pulled the bait out of his mouth, he was just sitting there. I'm gonna go grab the pail and put it to work. Crap. Well that's two fish and two misses. Alright, so I found our bait thief. Seems to be some yellow perch down there. It took a minute, but we got him. The last like 25 minutes I haven't been able to keep a flag down but I just come back to one of the other holes I've drilled and I actually have a fish I'm marking on the bottom right now so I'm gonna try to jig that one up I'm at one of my holes I purposely drilled for jigging but um, anyways I just want to show you guys how I have this set up so we have the mount, we have the rod holders. To power this, we can pop the lid off fairly easily. To power this, I have a storage thing, or a storage bin inside there, and that is hooked up to a Nakwa battery. And you can see I've got some tackle, there's some cleats in there, more hooks and stuff. And on the bottom, I leave empty so I can actually store the unit when I'm done with it for safety. And we found that fish that was on the mark. I think there's another one down there though. So we're gonna go after the next one. Looks huge. He's not really. Probably a eight inch yellow perch, maybe. And I just happened to turn around and we've got another flag.